So this is question 2.54 and the statement of it is from past experience a stock broker believes that under present economic conditions a customer will invest in tax free bonds with the probability of 0.6 will invest in mutual funds with the probability of 0.3 and will invest in both tax free bonds and mutual funds with a probability of 0.5 at this time find the probability that a customer will invest in either tax free bonds or mutual funds and b is in neither tax free bonds nor mutual funds okay so uh, first of all what do we have to do we have to write the given data okay? so whatever the data is we have to write it and we have to comprehend the data which is available here so the customer will have to invest in tax free bonds okay so let me write the tax free bonds at t okay so probability of tax free bonds is the probability of investing in tax free bonds is 0 0.6 okay and similarly we invest in mutual funds so let me write it like m okay represent it with m and that is 0 0.3 so the probability of the investment in mutual funds is 0 0.3 while in tax free is 0 0.6 okay similarly and will invest in both tax free bonds and mutual funds with a probability of 0 0.15 okay so previously i have told you that the intersection here is used as an and sign okay in which what is expected that both of the condition will have to be satisfied okay similarly u is the union which is used as an or in which any one or both can be applied together so this is the or condition okay either one or second or both okay in which it is important that both of the conditions should satisfy okay so that is here so now here there is we can see that there we have and so therefore we will have to write here what here we will have probability of investing in tax free and mutual funds is how much that is 0 0.15 okay so what do we have to do we have to find different situations so now here in either tax free bonds or mutual fund so that is here so we have to find the either tax free bonds or mutual fund so again we can see that here we have the or condition so for or we can see that we have to use the union okay so what do i have to do i have to find the probability of tax free or mutual fund so we can have a formula and that is the probability of t plus probability of m okay so and after it minus probability of t intersection okay, all of this data is available so the probability of t is 0 0.6 probability of m is 0 0.3 and probability of t and m is minus 0 0.1 okay so from it what i will get I will get from it is 0 0.75. Okay, so that is what that is the answer of part A. So this is the probability of T or M, and that is what we have here the solution. Similarly, in part B, what do we have to find out? We have to find that if the the probability that a customer will invest in neither tax free bonds nor in mutual funds okay so he will not invest in both of them so that is word that is we have to find the probability that he will neither invest in this t nor in m so that would be word that is t complement intersection m complement and this is basically one minus probability of t union m which is what sorry t union m which is what which is already given and which has already been calculated so now we can see that this was 0 0.75 so now it would be 0 0.25 which is the answer of
So uh, that's it for today in which we have seen the applications of the intersection and union and how to deploy them in the scenarios where we have to find one or the other condition or both of the conditions or neither of them. Okay. So that is the solution of our question and I will see you with some more interesting stuff in our upcoming video. See you soon.